down here in Beaufort, South Carolina, gonna pull two crab traps that set way up in the marsh. The causeway actually leading into the barrier island that we're in. We're just checking to see if any crabs are here with you guys. And Oliver's got his hand injured there. So Legrand's come along to help me out. He's gonna pull the pots and we'll check in with you guys. You know, them in injuries. Doing that boat work, getting that shrimp boat ready right here in South Carolina. If you guys are interested in shrimp trawling, check out the shrimp trawling videos also that we do. What you got there, Grant? You got a couple nice ones in there, man. There you go. And this one right here, where we're at right now, guys, it's only, you know, max three to four foot. We're looking for five inch blue crabs here in South Carolina, point to point on the ship. I didn't realize there were so many in there until they hit that bucket. Shake him, Graham. Shake him, buddy. I wish I could reach up there and help We don't have our device with us. Usually we got a pair of tongs with us to check them with. So it's gonna make the process a little bit more difficult. And you don't wanna get your finger, finger caught pinching in. That's a keeper. Oh yeah, that's a good that's keeper. That's a keeper. This gauge right here, homemade gauge, guys, it just measures from this side to this side five inches. And that's why we're putting the crab up here. And it's this point right here on his shell that we're measuring by to this one that you see across the other, the other side. If it's touching this gauge right here, it's gonna be a keeper right here in South Carolina. That's a female right there. Let me see if I can grab her. And that is a little male actually, see? Yep. It's a keeper. And this right here, little guy right down here, is the only other small one that I see. So what, try to finagle him and get him out. He almost gets you too, Grand? He's about to get me. <laughs> He's trying to get out of I'm going to have to use our little tool here to get him out of there. Come He's on, fast. Yeah, He's feisty. A little feisty little thing. That's the other small one right there that I could see down in there. But look at this. It's a keeper. So there was two, four, six, seven, eight keeper blue crabs. You trying to get away? In this one trap right here. This one little trap out of this area that's way up here in this marsh. This little causeway area. You can see the road coming in. Let's head on down that way, Grand, and let's go pull that other one real quick then. We got enough crab to eat tonight, right? We did. Man, I can taste that um, steamed crab now. We like to clean ours before we steam them and put that salt, pepper, little Old Bay and that garlic on them. What's the luck of this one? Oh man. This one and this one is definitely a keeper. We're gonna dump them out. We're gonna check them real quick. Let you guys know. Yeah. That little one right there. Uh oh. He trying to get you. He ain't trying to get me. That's uh, and, yep, he's a little too. He's short. a little shy. He's what I call uh, four and seven eighths. Our waters are a little murky here in South Carolina, but we're gonna try to get him swimming away. Huh. That didn't work out so well. Let me grab this side. Watch. There we go. This is definitely a keeper. Look at the colors on that one. Watch him, Oliver. He's got my crop. <laughs> he won't let your crop go. He wouldn't and let now my he's crop got the other go. One. This one's got that one. That one's got the grass. That's two pretty ones there, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> 
They're both keepers. Gorgeous. How many crabs did we end up keepers, guys? You see these two? I told you how many we had earlier. Leave it in the comments, let us know. We got enough for supper. I'm about to show y'all what I made of. Okay, LeGrand wants to show y'all throwing the shrimp net before we go. LeGrand, he has a unique technique about throwing these cast nets, and I'm, I'd have to say he could, he could sling it. This wind is blowing about 15 to 20 miles per hour right now, but let's see if Grant can get that net to open for you guys. It's pretty windy. You can sling one. You see he gathers up a few little handfuls in his hand there. And a lot of people put a piece in, in their mouth, but LeGrand does not do his that way. So he swings it around him and releases. Perfect pancake out there, LeGrand. Good job. So if there's any bait in that spot, LeGrand's got it. If there was anything in it. Oh, he does have a little shrimp. One little shrimpy right in there. Yeah. So he can add that to his catch. You've been uh, catching some other shrimp out here too, haven't you, Graham? Yeah. Getting ready to do some fishing and that's how you get your bait. Yep. So we got him a perfect size little fishing bait. Oh, oh no, don't be grand. eating any LeGrand. Oh Lord, your mama's gonna love that, uh-huh. We're gonna head on back to the house. We're gonna cook some crackers. Thanks for coming along, guys. Y'all have a great day.